Question four. Mr Morehouse. Uh, thank you, Mr President. I would like to ask the, um, the Minister for Environment, Food and Agriculture if we will make a statement on the Fishing for Litter initiative. Call on the <clears throat> Minister to reply, Mr Boot. Thank you, Mr President. Fishing for litter is part of our national commitment to help reduce the amount of plastic pollution in our seas and has recently been relaunched as part of our single-use plastic reduction plan for the Isle of Man community, which was published as an action under the programme for government. It is an excellent project led by Kimo, an association of coastal local authorities whose goal is to eliminate pollution from the northern seas. On the island, the Fishing for Litter initiative provides Manx fishermen with reusable marine litter sacks to collect rubbish that is caught in nets during normal fishing activities. Filled bags are brought ashore and emptied into designated quayside bins. Buckets are also made available from harbour officers for the collection of plastic offcuts and such like, so that crews can prevent these from blowing into the sea when undertaking tax tasks such as net mending in the harbours. A unique part of our local scheme is that Manx ports are being paired with local schools so that children can be shown the range of waste items found at sea to encourage discussion of issues that they cause in a direct local context. We hope this promotes a better understanding of the vital work that many fishermen are doing to protect the sea from litter. So far, around 25 vessels have signed up, about a third of the fleet, our Manx fleet that is, and boats are already bringing in bags of litter collected from the seafloor with a wide range of plastic items that have found their way into the marine environment. A catch by the fray recently included nine shoe soles, a circuit board and parts of a vacuum cleaner. This initiative complements other work undertaken by a range of organisations on the island and on land and coast to clean up our environment and promote responsible actions with regard to our waste. It comes from joined up working between government departments together with the fishing industry who are engaged together to tackle this issue. We welcome other boats coming into the scheme with the hope that this becomes part of everyday working all around the island. Supplementary, Mr Morehouse. Thank you, Mr President, and thank you, Minister, for such a detailed answer. In terms of the project, what's the overall cost of the initiative? And in January Tinwald, there was a real push towards environmental concerns <coughs> and finding solutions. This is a really good initiative. Will similar initiatives be driven forward in the next few months by his department? Mr Boat, Minister. Thank you. Well, in terms of the cost of the scheme, um, we've had to supply uh, the bags and also the uh, bins to collect the same and we worked uh, I believe with DOI in this and uh, maybe the local authorities but it's a voluntary scheme so there is no payment to anyone and I think people are willing uh, to buy into that. Um, in terms of the department and ongoing initiatives this is one of a number of initiatives and as you know we have a good relationship with Beach Buddies and uh, we're working with them and there's also now a, an on-land version of that and uh, we're working with them as well, so part of a whole raft of initiatives in the voluntary sector, I'm pleased to say, and the community seems pleased to buy into these things.